Okay, so I am building a 12, uh, or really 11, 1660 Super Rig today. Uh, this is another 12 USB uh, motherboard, and they have updated their shipping. Um, they have wrapped the RAM in the foam. I remember the last board I got was damaged in shipping. Came in a box, like that blue box with my shoe on it, apparently. Um, but yeah, so this thing is packed way better now. I just want to kind of get that on video. Um, but today we are going to be building a 1660 Super Rig. I actually really like 1660 Supers. The, the power draw, the hash rate, uh, the share count that they get doesn't seem to match hash rate. I've had some of these at 33 and some of them at 30. And the 31s are ahead in share count after like four days. Um, so that's interesting. So anyways, we're going to build this rig today. Uh, I'm going to go over some of the parts that I use to do this. Um, the 12 USB motherboard, I'll have a link to that in the description below. I have a mixed variant of 1660 Supers, new, used, about half of them are new, about half of them are used. Out of the used ones, uh, about three of them are refurbished. Um, right here is a new one I got from eBay and a refurbished one I got from eBay. This one does 32 something mega hash and that one does like 31 and that one's ahead on share count. We'll actually check it right now. Um, let's see, check it right now. And as you can see, 31, 32. And that one's ahead on the share count. I, I, don't, I don't know why. But uh, yeah, they're both the SUSEs. Uh, they're both 1660 Supers. That one cannot take, the top one cannot take nearly as high as the clock. It's a bottom one. And it's a higher share count. So like I said, it doesn't make sense, but I'm loving these things. They're doing great share counts and great hash rate for the power draw. Um, so let's go over some parts that I am using for this rig. Okay, so some core parts I'm going to be using is this 12 USB motherboard a gold thousand watt EVGA power supply. This is a 12 GPU single, single level case, or not case, but stand for the GPUs. I will be using some of these uh, for GPU risers. Um, I don't know about in this build, I will be probably using some in this build and, and other builds. Uh, yes, I will be using a SATA to p the six pin, but not a one SATA, a two SATA. You can only do 50 watts a piece uh, per a SATA or a four pin. So if you have two, it'll do 100 watts uh, to a six pin. And if you put it on a PCIe riser, you're only supposed to be able to do 75 watts. So you're supposed to be safe there if you're smart. Um, these are up here fans. I'm going to be using a 6-pin to 2-8-pin splitters. Uh, a lot of these, if I need them, because, like I said, I'm going to be using, you know, ATX power supplies. And then I had an extra power supply laying around, so I'm using this as well for extra power because um, one of those 1,000 watts will not do, you know, 10, 12 of these cards. So that's kind of the basis of this build. Also, I have a SATA, you know, SATA hard drive laying around. I'm going to be using a PNY set of hard drive as well. Um, I'll have links to everything in the description uh, if you guys wanted to build, you know, a uh, open air mining rig. This is kind of how I suggest to do it. Um, it's worked out for me. This will be my third one I've done this way, and I've had zero issues. So um, here we go. One thing I did forget to mention is do not forget your standard low profile um, CPU cooler because these boards do not come with a CPU cooler so uh, they come with a you know if you buy the right kit that I'll have a link in the description below it comes with a CPU it comes with a RAM right there but it does not come with one of these I've had to scramble to get these many of times uh, it's not a big deal they're like 30 bucks in town or like 20 bucks online so um, just something to keep in mind just a standard uh, LGA 1151 uh, or 115X, whatever. Cooler is fine. Okay, so I just got this all done. These are all 1660 Supers. I got 11 of them. I will find a 12 soon. 
but I'm running them all off, like I said, that 1,000 watt EVGA and a 650 watt Corsair power supply. Just getting the uh, drivers installed and we'll see what kind of power draw and hash rate we get out of this baby. Pretty stoked. All right, so we got this baby running. Um, I messed up and bought one uh, EVGA non-super apparently from eBay because it was the EVGA super. 16 super clock. I thought that was their super, but apparently they have a super 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 clock Irritating, but whatever so I got 10 1660 supers and one non super on here for 332 mega hash um, That is the non super I'm gonna ask the guy from eBay if he'll exchange it or take it back because I did not know uh, If not it is my fault. So these are all supers in the size uh, these are uh, one PNY, but then the rest are Asus's. Um, and I am getting, I have two power supplies in here, that one 630 watt, which runs the board, and these three cards on the end here, and then that 1000 watt runs all the rest of the cards. Um, so that would be all, what is that, eight cards. Um, so off the little power supply, it's getting, you know, 259 watts, and off that big power supply, Pulling about 646. So 646 uh, plus 259, you're looking at about 900 watts for 331 mega hash. Pretty good. I'm going to get one more 1660 super on here and uh, fill in this last spot right here. And like I said, hopefully that guy uh, does me a solid. But I'm pretty stoked with this. I actually really, really, really like 1660 Supers. Uh, they're really efficient and, and pretty good card that you can get for a pretty good price for mining. Uh, some of them do really good. I can crank up these to get about 32 to 33, but uh, it's hot here where I'm at. It's like 95 degrees outside. And I'm gonna end up putting this in my garage so I have a clock down so they can take the heat really well. But yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so in conclusion, this is how much uh, roughly I paid for everything. Um, so, uh, 11 1660 Supers, really it's 10 1660 Supers and one 1660, like I said, I didn't know. Uh, for an average of like right around $342 for each. Uh, you know, I was taxed and everything, shipping everything. Um, on average between all of them plus all the additional random stuff that you need to build this like the case power supplies and all of that so it came out to be you know, $438 or 4380 dollars for about uh, 331 mega hash at exactly 900 watts when I did the math it was oop, exactly 900 so I will show you what that kind of looks like for profitability right here in this market um, for me I have 28 cents a kilowatt hour, so it's not great. Um, we're talking two years uh, to pay itself off about $7 a day because half of it goes to power. But here in like a month or two, I'm going to be moving to a place that has on the high end eight cents and on the low end six. So for eight cents, you see, I mean, that's way more lucrative. Um, and, you know, it'll pay itself off in about a year. So. I uh, can't wait for that, um, super stoked about it, I'm really happy with this thing so far, um, having to figure out, you know, uh, just a few little things with it, but overall it's been really good. Okay, so it's been about a day, two days since I've had this rig done, I uh, found a few things that I have done uh, in that amount of time, uh, one is I flashed my PNY 1660 Super with a new BIOS. Now it's getting 34.8 mega hash instead of 31.8. So that's awesome. Uh, also, all of my MSI cards uh, could not take a very big overclock. I had to do about half of the overclock. Those are about at 600 on the memory. Otherwise, they would crash constantly. But this thing's been going for about a day and six hours now with no crashes, no uh, bad uh, shares, and just trutting along. So it's still at the 331 mega hash, so 
So I um, just wanted to do like a day update and uh, still really, really, really happy with this. So 1660 Super Rig is, in my opinion, good.